Hello my planner friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. I am so excited today to bring you this DIY planner cover pocket process video. A dear friend of mine, Tammy, who is DIYplannergirl.com, and I have got together and we have decided we are going to make pockets for our planners. And we wanted to go ahead and put them in the front cover Basically, the inspiration was my recollections planner. Um, we have both re recently purchased this planner and we really love the inside pocket. So we thought, why can't we do that for the happy planner? So we decided we wanted to go ahead and create these pockets for the planner. And we wanted to put them right on the cover. So we just had a few of the items here. I have some a big paper pack. We've got our glue dots and we have our self-adhesive um, laminating sheets. Now I have, I am using my happy planner that I just recently purchased and, but you can pretty much do this with any planner that you have, whether it's the Erin Condren or, you know, even a Target dollar spot planner or anything like that. You can definitely customize this to whatever planner you are, happen to use. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and start the process and show you how we made them. Tammy and I decided to use this modern metallic paper pad from DCWV. It's a 12 by 12 paper pack and I'm just doing a quick flip through here letting you see that there's a lot of golds, um, foil, black and white. Both of our planners had gold accents to them so we definitely wanted to bring that in when we were doing our pockets. So just picking out the, po um, the pages here that we're going to be using, pretty sure that's how it ultimately ends up. I'm using those three, three um, pages at the end and that's one of the things I love about this particular project is you can really customize it. I mean pick your favorite paper pack, use little cutouts that you want in those paper packs, um, really customize it to what you're looking for in um, what you want to do for your particular planner. So I am going to ultimately use that remember to cherish the mo each moment and I'm going to be putting that on the front of that page. What I'm doing here is I've decided I wanted to use that particular piece of scrap paper <laughs> um, as one of the pockets and I wanted to make sure that the line was straight down the middle. So I'm just cutting it to be three and a half by three and a half on both sides. So the total width of the pocket is going to be seven inches wide and I made it approximately five and a half inches tall um, but and then two inches apart for each pocket. But really, again, totally customizable. You can just put one pocket, you can put two pockets, you could do three pockets. Um, I'm actually going to be making that remember to cherish each moment a little pocket on the front. So it's going to be a little slip pocket on the side pocket. Um, so do whatever you want. You can totally customize it and make it your own. And okay, so here I am. I'm just cutting up all of the papers, getting them all situated. I wanted to use that, like I said, on the front there, but um, I wanted to make sure it wasn't, the gold piece was just a little bit too wide, so I just wanted to trim it up a little bit, and you'll see here, I'm just going to, eventually, I'm going to cut it, put it in the cutter and cut it, Crystal. <laughs> okay, I'm always the one that, that very cautious about cutting, especially this is the last piece of paper we had with this particular pattern on it, and I really wanted to use it, so... I didn't want to ruin it, so I just kept measuring and making sure that it was the right length. You'll see here I even put it. I still don't cut it. There we go. I'm going to put that on top of there like that. Is that the right? And again, I just kind of eyeballed it, but then I finally did cut it, and it was fine. <laughs> All right. Like I said before, I put them about two inches apart, so um, I'm measuring here to see how much I need to cut off the white, um, this little white piece of paper. kind of has little mermaid scales on it. So I cut that off. Once I got the paper that I wanted, we decided to add a little protection to the pockets by self-laminating them. So we took the Scotch brand self-laminating sheets and if you've ever used these before you'll know that basically what it does it just puts kind of a clear sticker a on top of whatever you're laminating. And that's really what we wanted. We just wanted to give it that extra protection um, and make it look like it was laminated. We ultimately cut the back piece off. So really all it is is just 
the front piece has a clear sticker coating on it so that it just protects it and it gives it, gives it a very finished look. Um, so you'll see here I'm just trimming it up um, and ultimately what's going to happen is once I trim it, because I'm trimming it right to the paper, and what's going to happen is the back piece is just going to fall right off because it has nothing in here to itself. So I'm just trimming it up and then I do that for each different page. So you'll I cut the other two ones out, but they are done as well. So each page, even the little um, cut apart that I cut out, that one also is um, laminated on the front. And then once we were done with that, I just, just was going to work on the design and just making sure that it was all going to line up correctly. And then I took my glue dots here, and we use glue dots because those are really going to be the best product for this. It's really strong, adhesive, and um, they were perfectly sized for a pocket. And um, you'll you see there that she was taking some pictures because she's doing a blog post about this. So we needed to take some stills. And um, there you can see I'm just putting that on the side there. And what I did was I ran the glue dots on the top, on the side, and then on the bottom. And then I left that one side open so that we could slide um, the different things in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that other piece and glued on as well. And again, I used the glue dots here. It, the glue dots that I used were kind of square. And I have to say that this product is really great because not only does it adhere very, very good, it's very strong adherence, but it's also really easy to use that little dispo dispenser thing. So it worked really well for this project. And then, um, we just got everything glued down, and then what I decided to do was I took my new sticker book that I got from Mambi. I got this sticker book at Michael's with my 50% off coupon, <laughs> um, and I am going to go ahead and put that little yay sticker right there on the side. But I thought, you know what, it just wouldn't be me if I didn't layer it with some washi, so I took some of that gold washi, I believe it's got polka dots on it, and I got that at the Target dollar spot and I just layered it up and then we took that Mambi 365 um, washi as well and it had little polka dots on it and I thought that was cute as well so I took and I just layered it up on top of that and then I took that little sticker and I'm just going to put that right there eventually right there yep there it goes <laughs> and um, I thought that just added a little bit of design to that gold um, pocket at the back and then I'm just going to decorate each of the pockets now, and um, I wanted to take that little journal card, and I'm going to grab a sticker here and put that on there. It just says, happiness is this, and that's definitely true. If you watch my planner videos, you guys will know I love my happy planner. I love decorating it every week. Um, please check out my plan with me's if you have not done so already and you're interested. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box, um, my playlist, so it'll be easy for you to access those plan with me. So once I got this sticker on there, I just wanted to round the corners, so I just rounded them just to give it a little bit of a finished edge. And then as you can see, it just slipped right in there really cute, and she had that little magnet that I put on there, and, um, and she gave me that little paper um, clip there that was had a little ribbon on it. And now I'm just checking um, because I felt like the part that the end where the washi was, it needed something else there. It needed some kind of something. And I was trying to figure out what I needed and I couldn't figure it out. So I just moved on to the next thing. Um, so I just decided, you know, I'm going to cut another one of the cutouts and then um, put it in there as well. So I went ahead and put that there. I think I do add a sticker. Yeah, yeah, I do. I add a, that, that little sticker says, oh, hello. And it's got a little gold foil on it. I thought that was cute to kind of add to the design. And then I can always use that particular little journal card later on if I want to on my planner. And then I decided that these are kind of the functional stickers the, from Mambi that I use quite often. Um, and... I decided to get those cut up and then put them in there as well. 
and then I have a little washi sample that I decided to add in there. And now I'm going back and deciding what I'm going to do with that washi. I did want to add another sticker there. So I just put that little heart sticker there on the edge. And I think it just kind of cleaned that up and just kind of finished that off, that design off. And that's pretty much it, guys. That is how we designed the planner cover pockets. I think they are adorable. I am in love. Every time I open my planner now, I'm like, oh my God, these are so cute. Why didn't I do this six months ago? <laughs> but um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Please go check out Tammy's DIY Planner Girl vlog. She does a lot of crafty vlogs and a lot of great ideas. So like, subscribe, and share. Thanks, guys. Bye.